Welcome to Now on Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. This week, we're covering Android 14 Developer Preview 2, new Wear OS app quality requirements, the release of the full Android Basics course with Compose, advanced layout concepts, and an intro to drawing in Compose, accessing composables from UI Automator, multi-window and activity embedding, TensorFlow Lite and Google Play services, and more. Android 14 Developer Preview 2 is now available, with additional enhancements to privacy, security, performance, customization, and more. Examples include changes that reduce the amount of CPU time your app gets once it goes into the cache state, selected photos access, which allows Android 14 users to grant partial access to their media library when an app requests media permissions, and regional preferences, which enable users to personalize temperature units the first day of the week and numbering systems. We announced upcoming policy changes to improve both Wear OS app quality and app presentation within Google Play. In addition, Wear OS apps must target API Level 30, Android 11, to continue being discoverable for devices that run Android 11 Plus. The new requirements will come into effect on Google Play starting August 31st, 2023. Until then, the existing policies will be in place. The overall mandatory Wear OS app review process remains unchanged. The full Android Basics with Compose course is now available, covering how to create Android apps using Jetpack Compose, exploring fundamentals of the Kotlin programming language, Android app architecture, commonly used Jetpack libraries, and view Compose interoperability along the way. We continue the Mad Skills series focused on Jetpack Compose layout and modifiers with one new episode on advanced layout concepts, where Simona covered how to handle more complex layout requirements, harnessing the power of layout phase and constraints to build custom layouts in Compose. We're doing a live Q&A session on Compose layout and Mad Skills on March 9th, so be sure to get your questions in to hear them answered live. We had some interesting articles. Roberto covered how to leverage multi-window and activity embedding to help your users multitask while taking advantage of increased screen real estate. Tomash illustrated how to go about accessing composables from UI Automator, leveraging modifier.test tag. In videos, Luke covered new capabilities in Block Store, which is our API to help your users seamlessly transfer to new device, such as a new key value pair feature that allows you to save up to 64 times more data, along with the ability to pair binary packets with a key. Thomas detailed how to use TensorFlow Lite with Google Play Services, now Android's official ML inference engine. It can help reduce your app size by up to five megabytes, make sure your app is up to date with the latest stable version of TensorFlow Lite, and supports GPU acceleration. Rebecca explored custom drawing in Jetpack Compose, including DrawScope, drawing modifiers, understanding the coordinate system, DrawScope transformations such as scale, translate, rotate, and inset, and how to use all of this to draw a filled, smooth, animated path. In episode 195 of the Android Developers Backstage podcast, Chet and Roman talked to Jeff and Anton from the mainline team about modular system components and the new SDK extension framework, which lets you access them. So that's it for this week with Android 14 Developer Preview 2, new Wear OS app quality requirements, the release of the full Android basics with Compose, advanced layout concepts and an intro to drawing in Compose, accessing composables from UI Automator, multi-window and activity embedding, TensorFlow Lite and Google Play services, and more. Remember to like, subscribe, share, stay safe, and come back here soon for another update from the Android developer universe.